Namaste. Hi. The exiting of the soul, the spirit, the consciousness, and the absolute energy could happen in many ways in samadhi, depending on the techniques we use in preparing for our meditation. The most common is the rising pattern, where we make use of our energy locks and lifting our energy or the kundalini to rise to the chakras of the spine until it exits the shahasrara chakra at the crown of the head. And this is easy since our energy has a rising nature to begin with. And all we need to do is to practice techniques which are rising in nature too, such as Puraka Kumbhaka. The most powerful for me is the Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing with inhale retention. And after the practice, you hold the body still. And there's a huge chance for it to exit the crown of the head. Also techniques which we utilize are tongue, yeah? Talabra Kriya, Nabu Kriya, or Rakechari Mudra. Since those techniques open the pathways leading to the inner brain, uh, it encourages the energy to rise from the lower regions of our body to the inner brain, access the crown of the head when we meditate later on. And then when it exits the crown of the head, the sensation is uh, quite distinctive. You're gonna feel the hair rise here. And literally, you're gonna feel it exit the crown of the head. Right. It could also leave the body from the frontal part, yeah, the chest region before head. Alright, Ujjayi breath is so potent in making the Anahata Chakra sensitive and open. Thus, if we practice Ujjayi breath as our way of preparing for our meditation, you know, we encourage the force to really accumulate here. As we inspire this breath coming from the outside and lifting our own energy up, we allow the union to happen in the chest. Remember, union could happen either in the chest region or inside the cranial region. And if it happens inside the chest, then it could leave the body through the Anahata Chakra. And the sensation is different too. Like from the inside of the body, the energy rises up to the surface of your skin, exits the body, so you can feel like you're floating. All right. It could also leave the body through the forehead. And this happens if we stimulate and energize the optic nerves and the auditory functions of our nervous system. For example, when you look here, you know, Shambhavi Mudra, whether with your eyes open or closed, yeah, you know, it could happen. If you listen to Anahata Nada, if you listen to different frequencies, if you close the holes in your head, like you close the mouth, you close your nose, you close your eyes, and you close your ears, and you make the bumblebee sound, you do that for a duration period of time. After the practice, you meditate upon stillness, you can feel the energy exit the forehead, like something is drilling here, like you're gonna feel this uh, sensation. You know, tickle your forehead together with this bright radiance entering your forehead and you're going to be dissolved in this beautiful white radiance of energy. It could also leave the body through our toes so it would have this downward action and in techniques where we do rechaka kumbhaka or exhale retention are so powerful in achieving the purpose. Bastrika pranayam for example where we inspire this huge chunk of energy to accumulate in our hips and after the practice, you're going to feel so energized in the hips and you hold the body still, it will make its way out of your toes. And the sensation is different too, like you're being pulled downwards and literally going to feel the energy exit your toes. So what's the significance of all this? Yeah. After the energy has exited the body, the sensation will just be the same. The experience will just be the same across all ways and means. Of course, in different layers and stages. Yeah. So samadhi could happen to you depending on your nature, depending on your preference, depending on your abilities, depending on your limitations because some might not be for you. For example, Bastrika is contraindicated for conditions of the lower back, the hips, or some respiratory cardiovascular conditions. So Jaya Pranayam, if you have heart condition, it's not for you. But definitely there's one technique which suits you. So it could happen really depending on your preference, depending on your nature, depending on your circumstance. Until the next time, namaste.